I'm working on the uh, basically a starter block, I guess, for the hole saw for the uh, <clears throat> prop shaft. Getting closer uh, to drilling now. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll bolt this down temporarily uh, where it goes. And then this block, it's just two two by six pieces of nice soft pine. And if you notice, I have the grain going sideways because um, end grain is a little hard. It's, it's harder to drill into like this. So what I did is I this I saw where this contacts the hull or right about where it's come to contact the hull, and then I I'll position this a little bit further back, half inch or so, something like that. And uh, I I cut uh, angles on that to match this and then screw this piece on here. Now what I'll do, I'm going to, with my table saw, I'm going to cut the angle to match that and then I'll unscrew this top piece and screw the bottom piece down in, making sure to keep away from, have a keep away area where this hole saw is going to go and I'll screw this piece on and uh, so that, that is how I am doing that. So I want to show how I cut this angle, and it's a little bit dangerous. Um, so I, I've got this jig that I repurposed, and I screwed a, this guide block on here. And uh, what I did, I can't show with the actual piece because I've got it screwed up here right now, and I didn't want to undo it. But, um, imagine this piece is a little taller, and what I did is... Um, I used a clamp, get this clamp, and I clamp this uh, real nice and tight to this to this jig, and I set the angle of the saw to the angle that I needed. I used my angle gauge and and set it. I just say it's magnetic and it set right on there. And then so with this clamped, um, what I did is I just ran this ran this in and what it did and, and notice you know no guards of course because I had the blade all the way up I wanted it as deep as I could which is just about three inches a little over and very slowly I fed this in uh, in and so then it, it cut that cut that angle like that and then I flipped the board over now again it wasn't screwed to this block and uh, did it again very very slowly and uh, so that's how I did it. Um, it's probably a better, safer way, but I couldn't think of it. And uh, so again, I stood, I didn't stand here in front when I was doing it. I stayed, stood off to the side just in case something flew out. And, uh, but since it was all clamped and securely fastened to a jig like this, it was actually relatively safe, but still cuts like that, I try not to do. So that's how I cut, that's how I cut, uh, make that V there. So I'm working on cutting the uh, angle on the face of my block here. And so I use my angle gauge and it's got a zero function on it. So I can put it on here and it'll zero. And then I put it up on my shaft. This is my drill shaft. Of course, make sure it's down where it's gonna be. And then I can get the relative angle between these two. It looks like 14.2 degrees. So I will, <clears throat> Come over here to my table saw and use this angle gauge and i'll measure a relative angle uh, where my saw is oops and then then i'll just lead to 14.2 degrees and uh, then what i'll do is very carefully slide this along here and it'll cut that face i have this upside down and uh, then cut the angle to drill the prop shaft hole I just made the cut uh, to put that angle on this block. And uh, again, uh, blade was up high and no guard. Go really slow, you gotta be really careful. And uh, so it it uh, actually turned out really good. Nice flat surface now. And the blade angle is close to what it needs to be. So for drilling prop shaft hole, one of the things you wanna do is on the underside of the keel, you want to put some kind of a, a locking member or piece like this screwed up on there to help with with a tear out. And uh, so this is approximately where my block is going to go for drilling on this side. 
And then I'm gonna put this right underneath. Looks like starting here right at frame two and going back. So I will screw this up under there. And uh, that will help with tear out is this uh, bit goes down through, through the bottom side of the keel and breaks through. So there's the uh, blocking member <clears throat> just uh, behind frame two underneath the boat. And uh, so when the hole saw comes through, it should come through somewhere in here and uh, that'll help <clears throat> with tear out. So I'm using my uh, laser level uh, to mark the center line on, on the drill block where I'll be drilling, I get the surface for the hole saw to go into. So that's all screwed down now. And I've got reference marks in the center line up there, front of the boat, towards the front of the boat, actually near where the fin's gonna go. And then I have them right here in front of this block. And so I just use this uh, laser level, got, got those lined up. And then I'll turn the light back on here. And then what I did is drew, just drew a uh, vertical reference line there. And uh, so that gives me the center line of where to line up the guide, the center guide bit for the hole saw. So I am trying to locate exactly where the strut needs to be along center. So I'm using my uh, <clears throat> laser level and I've got marks that I had created before the center line along the keel um, and uh, so I'm, I'm using those I've got a few right here I can use and then on the underside of this I can actually see that laser line and so I'm kind of I mean eyeball on that really but it looks pretty accurate so I'm trying to see where this goes because I already previously marked the center line where this drill bit that's that guide bit on this hole saw needs to hit so we're making sure that's on its mark, and then I'm lining this up, and then what I need to do is then tighten these bolts. And that should locate uh, the strut uh, to drill. The... Sorry, I got cut off. That should locate the strut to drill the uh, prop shaft hole right down the center.